Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on anatomy. Right now I would like to discuss about the muscles of the anterior compartment of uh, upper limb. So the muscles of the anterior compartment of upper limb are mainly three. They are biceps brachii, coracobrachialis and brachialis. So biceps brachii, it has two heads. So if you see this is the scapula, humerus and this is the radius and this is the ulna. So biceps brachii has a short head and a long head. The short head it arises from the tip of coracoid process whereas the long head it arises from the supraglenoid tubercle. So this is the supraglenoid tubercle. It arises from the supraglenoid tubercle and it runs along the humerus and then it gets inserted into the radial tuberosity. Okay, the nerve supply of all these muscles of the anterior compartment of arm is musculocutaneous nerve. So let me just show you the course of the biceps brachii in the uh, muscles. Okay, as I have said, so this is the humerus. Okay, this is the scapula. And this is the radius. So, biceps brachii, it will start, it will get insert, it will, it, ori it originates from the uh, short head from the coracoid process. This is the coracoid process. So, it originates from the coracoid process, short head, whereas the long head, it originates from the supraglenoid fossa. So, this is the glenoid fossa, supraglenoid tubercle. So, here, if you see there is a tubercle here, so this is supraglenoid tubercle, here the long head arises, here the short head arises. So both long head and short head they unite together and they run along the whole arm, anterior part of arm and it gets inserted into the radial tuberosity. Radial tuberosity is here. So if you see it's uh, something like this, so no, 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 something like this, yeah, so something like this. So it gets inserted into the radial tuberosity of radius. Okay, so this is how the biceps brachii runs. So the next muscle which I would like to discuss is coracobrachialis. The coracobrachialis originates at the coracoid process along with the short head of biceps brachii. If you see, the short head of biceps brachii and coracobrachialis both originate at the same place. So coracobrachialis, it originates at the tip of the coracoid process and it gets inserted in the middle 5 centimeters of medial border of humerus. So if you see, if this is the humerus, and this is the uh, thing here, it, get, it, it originates from the coracoid process here, coracoid process and it runs like this and it gets inserted into the medial uh, border of humerus, that to 5 centimeters above the medial border of humerus. So here, somewhere here it gets inserted, here, sorry, here, somewhere here it gets inserted, okay. So this is about coracobrachialis. Then, so it gets inserted somewhere in the middle 5 centimeters. Okay. Now the next muscle is brachialis muscle. Brachialis muscle, it is between the humerus and the ulna. Okay, it is a muscle between the humerus and the ulna. So if you see the ulna. Yeah. Yeah, it goes back to the to its fossa. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah, so it originates from the lower part of the, in front of the humerus, lower half. So it originates here. So if you see here, it originates here in the lower half of the humerus and it gets inserted into the coronoid process and ulnar tuberosity. So it, it is inserted here in the coronoid process and ulnar tuberosity. Ulnar tuberosity is here, so it, ins it gets inserted here, coronoid process and ulnar tuberosity. Okay, so these are the origin and insertions of muscles of anterior uh, compartment of arm and the nerve supply, main nerve supply is musculocutaneous nerve. So, thank you guys for watching my lecture. In my next class, I will explain about the posterior compartment of arm and the triceps muscle. Thank you for watching my lecture. If you have any doubts, please comment it in the comment section. If you feel something is inadequate in this lecture, even then comment it in the comment section. Thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.